Yeah. Morning students. So in the last two videos we have just gone through the definition of an open ball centered at X and radius R. And with that help we define what you mean by an interior of a given set X, the given set A in a matrix space X. Now with the help of these two definitions, okay, we are ready to define what is an open set in a matrix space. Okay, what is an open set in a matrix space? Or you can you can say how to define an open set in the, in the matrix space. Okay. Okay. So as usual, we start with the uh, matrix space X comma D and S of A of X. S of A of X. I mean the definition. A is an open set in X if A equals its interior. A equals its interior. So this is the definition. Okay. So for a given set, suppose A is a given set and uh, suppose A equal to its interior. You know how to define interior of a set. You know how to define interior of a set. Suppose for the set A, A equals interior of A, then you say that A is an open set in X. Okay, A is an open set in X. So what it actually means is if you uh, carefully look at the definition of interior with respect to this uh, definition of open set, we can reformulate the definition of open set in the following. Okay. We will just look at what it means. Okay. So for the set A, okay, uh, in order to check whether it is open or not. Okay, you have to verify this equality, A equal to interior of A. So one, uh, in this equality okay, uh, means that A subset of interior of A also interior of A is a subset of A. Because set equality means that A, uh, A equal to B means A subset of B as well as B subset of A. Okay. So A is subset of interior of A and interior of A is a subset so if this is one one thing in this two uh, inclusion is obvious. So interior of A is subset of A because recollect what is the definition of interior of A? Interior of A is set of points in A, okay, which are interior, which are interior. Okay, Y is an interior point to A. This is the definition of interior of a set A. From the very basic definition, okay, we are collecting those points from A which satisfies additional property. Therefore, it is obviously subset of A. So, interior of A is a subset of A is obvious. Therefore, to say A is an open set in S, okay, it is enough to say that A is subset of interior. Of a. That means every point of A is an interior point of A. Okay. I am going to rephrase this definition in the following manner. So, A is open if Every point of A is an interior point of A. Okay, every point of A is an interior point of A. Then we say that it is an A is an open set. Okay. So what it actually means? Okay, when you when you learn the concept of uh, uh, any concept of uh, metric space or any, any analysis course, okay, you have to reformulate the definition in uh, up to the basic level. Okay, uh, first line I am writing A is an open set means if A equal to interior. Then I want to uh, maybe split up this definition into uh, another uh, way. That is A equal to interior of A. I know this thing equal to this inclusion of A is subset of A is always close to. So that means what is the additional condition that will leave that the set is open? That means A subset of interior. So now I rephrase the definition. A is open set in X if A subset of interior. So that I reformulate again, rephrase the same uh, definition. A is an open set if every point of A is an interior point of A. Okay. So what it actually mean? That is if to each x in A, that is every point, must be an interior point. What is the definition of interior point? So given point in a set is interior to the given set A. If that is a positive number R such that bar with center, that point that is given x, that radius is subset of A. Okay. So y is 
Y is an interior point of A. Okay. If first if Y must be a point of A, otherwise there is no need to define, define the interiorness. Okay. So Y is in A, and there exists some R positive such that ball with center Y radius R is contained in. So this is the definition of interior. So what if, what we insist? Okay, in order that in order to the set A is open, if every point of A is an interior point of A, that means if, if to each x bar x in A, that it is R positive such that ball with center x in that radius is subset of A. Okay. To each x in A, there is R positive because the R positive depends on x and will provide R suffix x. Okay. To each point x in A, that exists R positive, that is R x positive, whose with the property that ball with center x with R x radius is subset of A. That means if this condition alone will say that the point x is an interior point of A because there is R positive, ball with center x with that radius positive is subset of A. That means this x becomes an interior point of A. So this condition is true for every e, every x in A. So to each x in A, there is R x positive corresponding ball with center x with the radius R x is subset of A. So now the condition of openness is totally uh, defined in terms of points of A. So in order to say that a, point, a set A is an open set in X, we have to verify this property. To each X in that set, there is an R positive such that ball with center X radius R X comes to that. Okay. So here uh, in the last two uh, videos, we have looked at two definitions uh, that is open bar and the interior of the set. Okay. And in that open ball concept, uh, we define the ball with center x radius r in the usual metric. Okay, defined on r uh, as as usual, set of points y in r such that mod y minus x is the r. And this is actually an open interval around the symmetric open interval around the r, namely x minus r to x plus r. Okay. We know the details, all these things we already learned. Now, you take the first set, capital A is uh, 1, 5, 7, 10, 12. We know that, we already know that none of the points in A is an interior point to A. Therefore, A is definitely not an open set. Okay. A is not open. in R. This in R is essential here because the metric consideration will decide you that the definition of open bar and the uh, what type of points becomes an interior point to the given set. Everything is depends on the, the total concept of the R with the usual metric D. Okay. Right. And the second case if you take A is equal to left close 1 comma 5. Okay. We know that what is interior can you remember what is the interior for this set A? We recollect the, uh, the possibility. Okay, uh, what are the points which are interior to this A? Yes, yes. You, I, I hope that you remind that it is open at one comma five. Okay, look at that A is one comma five. It goes one comma five. Interior of A is open one comma five. Okay, look at the definition of open set. A is an open set if this condition is true, that is A equals interior of A. Here, point 1 belongs to A, but 1 is not a point of interior of A. Therefore, we can't say that A is a subset of interior of A. Okay. So, what do you mean by A subset of interior of A? A subset of interior of A? Define this one. When you say that A is contained in interior of A, every point of S must be an interior point. Okay, every point of A must be an interior point of A. Here we are able to identify at least one point of A which is not an interior. Look at that A is the set and interior A is open to one comma one. One is not here, but one is in the set A. So one is a point of A which is not an interior point of A. 
therefore A will not be a substar in the area. So and therefore A is not open and hence A is not an open set in R. Now guess what type of uh, example you can say for an open set. Okay, this 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 example will give, give you. Okay, the another example. Okay, instead of A is left close one comma pi. If I choose one comma pi as my set A, then obviously, okay, from the above discussion, my integer of A is again one comma pi. Both are equal. A is one comma pi. Integer of A one comma pi. Therefore, A and integer of A are both the same set. Same set. A equal to integer of A. Which in turn we can say A is an open set in R with the usual method. Okay. So I quickly recall what is uh, uh, the definition. Okay. A is an open set if this condition holds true. A equals integer of A. That means to each point x in A, there is a positive number R x such as that. Ball with center x and radius r x is completely contained in Okay. Here is an example. Here are some examples which obey this property. So first we take the set A. We already know that A is uh, A, none of the points of A is an interior point of A, therefore A is not open. Okay, here in the second example, if we take A is equal to left close 1 comma 5, then we know down that interior of A is 1 comma 5, open to 1 comma 5. Here one the point one is not here, whereas one point is in the set. So that means we are having a point of A which fails to have it is in interior of A. Therefore A is not a subset of A. And hence we can say that A is not an open set. Okay. And this from this example you can guess that. So if we remove this point one from the set A, okay, and the certain set is one comma five as your original A, then that's one interior A is again one comma five. So therefore A equals integer of A in this case, which means A is an open set. So these are the yeah. these are the few examples of a set which is uh, an open set, which is not an open set. Uh, we have to clearly look at why it is not an open set and why it is an open set. Okay. So this is the fundamental definition in metric space. Okay, that is open bar, interior, and then open set. So with that, with these three. Okay, you can learn a lot of things in the in the post. Okay, uh, wherever you go in the concept of metric space, uh, when you define something, okay, uh, you are you are end up with an open ball or in terms of an open set, okay, for in terms of integer. Therefore, these three concepts plays a vital role in the, in learning the concept any concept of metric space. Okay, the whole idea of uh, metric space uh, rests on the definition of open ball, okay, and open set. So, in the next few videos, uh, in the forthcoming videos, we are going to look at uh, what are the properties that an uh, uh, open set has, okay? And what are the uh, other properties that you can talk about the open sets among the open sets, okay? In the next videos, we are going to learn. Thank you.